Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru. It is August 1st, 2022, also known as Dogist 1st, 2022. And this is the day that all shelter dogs who don't have a birthday known get to celebrate their birthdays. And it would be awesome if they could celebrate in their own homes. And so today's a great day to think about adopting a pet from a shelter. I wish I could have a doggo, but we have allergies here. And then, of course, the cats would be furious with me, but they'd get over it. I don't know if you can hear cats in the background. There's Lucy with her bell walking around. And Sasu is sitting on plastic, and so he might make noises from plastic every so often. All right, so we're going to start with the word party. It's a doggo party. Let's see if that gets us anything. Ooh, it got us a lot, just not put together in the right spots. <sighs> hmm. What can we do with the A-R-T or a T-R-A? If we kept it as A-R-T and moved it, we could do something like smart. If we switched it to T-R-A, which would be another good construction, we could do something like track or tramp. I think I'm going to try smart. We could also try heart. I think I'm going to regret not using an E. Ah, stink. Okay. So, well, good. We've got the spot here, but I'm frustrated I didn't use an E. Although, I mean, could there be a consonant blend here? What would go here? I think we need to play some vowels. I think there's another vowel in here. Because we've used the S, we've used the T. TH, I mean, the THART is not a word. Um, GH. Those beginning consonant blends. I don't see a lot of space for them. What could we do that uses up a lot of vowels? Let's take a look at our vowels. We've got an E. I really, I don't know why, besides heart, what else could it be? I don't know. Uh, we've got an E, we've got an O, we've got an I, we've got a U. Oh my goodness, just talking about dogs and I'm sneezing. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, and we've got all of these consonants. What if we... Oh, what if we do the word ounce? That gets rid of all of the vowels that could possibly be there, except the I. Because we've already tried the Y. I think that would give us direction. If it's not that, then we can switch to something that's really consonant heavy. I mean, I know it's not that, that, but let's see if we get any further direction. We did. Ooh, we did. We got a U. Okay, you know what that means. That's a very unusual construction. It doesn't happen very often at all unless we get to use one of our very favorite strange letters, the Q. Quart. Because what else could it be? It's not going to be anything else. Is it? No. 
not with the UA construction. Okay, so I really expected to get an E there. I almost just went with heart. I'm so glad I didn't. It's kind of like in 21 questions where you're supposed to start broad and then narrow down. And I often just start with the narrow. I'm glad I went with the broad and looked for what other vowels could be there, because I think it has to be quart. Let's see, a T doesn't work there, an R doesn't work there, so we're looking at the other letters. I did look through here quickly, but let's just double check. That would be awful to just choose without investigating all of the options. Yeah, I don't see any other options. I think that, yep, yeah, that has to be it. Okay, that is it for me. Uh, I hope other folks don't struggle with the Q. Sometimes it's just that forgotten letter. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.